The cheetah, a majestic creature of the African plains. It holds a title envied by all land animals, the fastest. Imagine for a moment, a blur of spots reaching speeds over 70 miles per hour. This is the cheetah, a testament to nature's power and grace. Cheetahs are not just fast, they are the epitome of speed. Their slender bodies and powerful muscles are tailor-made for acceleration, leaving even the swiftest gazelles in awe. But their speed is not just about raw power, it's a delicate balance of form and function. The cheetah's story is one of evolution, a tale written over millennia on the plains of Africa. It's a story of survival, of predator and prey locked in an eternal dance. And it's a story that needs our attention, for this magnificent creature is facing an uncertain future. Every aspect of a cheetah's anatomy speaks to its need for speed. Their long, slender bodies are aerodynamic marvels, cutting through the air with minimal resistance. Their legs are disproportionately long, providing incredible stride length. Unlike other cats, the cheetah's claws are only semi-retractable, acting like cleats for traction. This unique feature provides an essential grip, preventing slippage during their explosive sprints. Their flexible spine allows for incredible extension and flexion, maximizing each stride. And then there's the tail, a long, rudder-like appendage that provides balance and stability during high-speed turns. It acts as a counterbalance, ensuring the cheetah maintains its footing even when changing direction abruptly. This is crucial when pursuing agile prey in the open savanna. Even their internal organs are adapted for speed. Their enlarged heart and lungs deliver oxygen to muscles with incredible efficiency. This allows them to maintain their explosive bursts without succumbing to oxygen debt. The cheetah's speed is not just about top speed, it's about acceleration. They can go from zero to 60 miles per hour in under three seconds. Imagine the force, the sheer power required for such a feat. This acceleration is crucial for their hunting strategy. Cheetahs are not endurance runners. Their chases are short, explosive bursts. They rely on their ability to close the gap quickly, catching their prey off guard. Their speed is a double-edged sword. While it allows them to catch prey, it also means they tire quickly. A chase lasting more than a minute is usually abandoned. This highlights the importance of their initial burst and the precision of their hunting technique. The cheetah's speed is a spectacle to behold, a testament to the power of evolution. But it's also a reminder of the delicate balance of nature, where every adaptation comes with a trade-off. Section 4. Masters of the Pursuit Cheetahs are diurnal hunters, meaning they hunt during the day. This allows them to utilize their incredible speed to its fullest potential. The open savanna, their preferred hunting ground, provides little cover for their prey. Their hunting strategy is a combination of stealth and speed. They stalk their prey, utilizing their exceptional eyesight to pinpoint their target. Once within range, the chase is on. Cheetahs often use a tripping technique, using their dew claw to knock their prey off balance. This is followed by a quick bite to the throat, suffocating their prey. They are efficient killers, minimizing the suffering of their prey. However, cheetahs are not always successful. Their hunts are often interrupted by larger predators like lions and hyenas, who steal their hard-earned meals. This competition for resources is a constant pressure on cheetah populations. Section 5 a race against time. Sadly, the cheetah, this icon of speed and grace, is facing a crisis. Their numbers are dwindling, and they are listed as vulnerable on the IUCN Red List. Habitat loss, human wildlife conflict, and the illegal wildlife trade are pushing them closer to the brink. As human populations grow, cheetah habitat shrinks. The vast savannas they once roamed are being converted to farmland and settlements. This leaves cheetahs with less space to hunt and raises the risk of conflict with humans. The illegal wildlife trade is another significant threat. Cheetah cubs are highly sought after as pets, fueling a cruel and unsustainable trade. This trade often involves snatching cubs from their mothers in the wild, further impacting already fragile populations. Section six, guardians of the cheetah. The situation is dire, but there is hope. Conservation organizations are working tirelessly to protect cheetahs and their habitat. These efforts include community outreach, anti-poaching patrols, and habitat restoration. Community-based conservation programs are vital. By working with local communities, conservationists are promoting coexistence between humans and cheetahs. 
This includes educating communities about the importance of cheetahs and providing alternative livelihoods that don't rely on exploiting wildlife. Anti-poaching units are on the front lines, protecting cheetahs from illegal hunting and trafficking. These teams work tirelessly, often in challenging conditions, to apprehend poachers and disrupt the illegal wildlife trade. Habitat restoration is crucial for the long-term survival of cheetahs. This involves protecting existing habitat and restoring degraded land. By creating wildlife corridors, conservationists are connecting fragmented populations, allowing for genetic exchange and increasing the viability of cheetah populations. Section 7. A Future for the Fast The fate of the cheetah hangs in the balance. Their future depends on our collective action. We must raise awareness about their plight, support conservation efforts, and advocate for policies that protect them. Imagine a world where the cheetah's speed continues to electrify the savanna, where their sleek bodies and spotted coats remain a symbol of nature's artistry. This is the future we must strive for. It's a future where humans and cheetahs can coexist, where the thunder of their paws on the open plains continues to echo for generations to come. The cheetah's story is far from over. It's a story we must all be a part of writing. Let us ensure that this magnificent creature continues to grace our planet for centuries to come.